everybody! This week we're going to be doing some imagining with music. So imagining what's happening uh, during a piece that's being played or a different sound. Um, and they use this in soundtracks on movies um, to create like an excitement or a feeling in a story. So um, if something bad happens, we might hear a sound like dum 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 or you might hear a sound like or you can have a listen to this one it's a bit more professional so that's a failing sound okay but if something good happens you might hear something like or like a big it almost sounds like a big kick's going off Okay, so the way things sound, it gives you a feeling or um, you associate different things with, with those sounds um, and it adds sort of like a bit of excitement to the story or the movie. So we're going to be playing some soundtracks today, some soundtrack music, and we're going to be playing it twice. Um, the first time we're just going to close our eyes and we're going to be imagining something happening. So, for example, if you've got like a really fun and lively piece of music that's um, quite fast uh, paced, then you might imagine something like a ball kind of bouncing along or a little happy bunny or something like that um, bouncing along. Um, and that would make sense for that music. Or you might imagine something else, something bright and colorful. But if you heard a bright piece of music that was slow, um, so it sounded happy, but it was still moving slow. You might imagine like a hot air balloon going off into the sky. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you what movies these are from. Um, the point isn't to imagine the movie. The point is to imagine um, what that music means to you, what it sounds like to you. So you're making up your own story. Okay, if you're submitting this to your teacher, if you're from kindergarten to year two, you could probably draw a picture of what you can imagine happening um, and take a photo of it and send it in if you're using Google Classroom. I know a few people are using Google Classroom. Um, and if you're in year five, six, or year, sorry, year three, four, five, six, um, you could use um, these excerpts and your imagination to create a sizzling start to a story um, or even to make the story itself as the music changes. So, for example, it might start really slow and then it gets faster and faster and faster. So it could be representing a chase or something like that. OK, so it's up to you how your teacher wants to do it. Um, but we're going to listen to our first one now. Are you ready? Let's go. OK, close your eyes. So this time you should have drawn a picture of what you were feeling um, or draw, written like part of a story or a sizzling start to how uh, what you thought was going on. Um, I got a really bouncy feeling out of that one. So the whole do -do 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 it kind of feels like you're frolicking along, having a really good time. Um, and then the music kind of swells. It gets more extreme. Um, so you can actually hear it. So I'll show you the little bits. First bit. Frolicking. But then this bit, it's... Okay, so you can feel that swell. So what I drew, what was going on in my mind and whatever was going on in your mind is not incorrect. This is just what was going on in mine. Um, I drew, I don't know if you can actually see it very well. It's just a little sketch during that period of time. A little happy elf going along a little path. And at the end of that path, I've drawn a unicorn. Because I, mm, you see a unicorn? 
piece. So, because I felt like the music uh, changed in a way that, um, like, it was like something dramatic happened. So, here's, here's the little elf frolicking along. And then he sees his long lost unicorn. He's like, whoa, I haven't seen you in so long. So, that was the general feel I felt for that one. Whatever you did is also fine. I didn't get a creepy feeling. I didn't draw a ghost coming down a, sca a staircase being creepy. Okay, so we're going to listen to it again. Uh, this time we're going to do something that's completely different. So it's going to have a different mood and feel to it. Oh, and sorry, drum roll. That last piece um, was actually, I wonder if you got it, but it was from Lord of the Rings. Uh, so I did not compose that piece. It's from J.R. Tolkien. Tolkien. And um, yes, it was from the, the soundtrack from that when uh, they're kind of in the Shire and it's all lovely and summery. Um, okay, so this one we're going to listen to is going to be a little bit different. So ready? We're closing our eyes again. Spooky, I felt. I don't know what you felt. You should have had, I guess, things in your mind like creepy or something um, coming or... Um, yeah, so the, <laughs> this time when we play it again, what I want you to do is to draw the same as what we did before, draw a picture. Um, if you're in, like I said, year three to six, you can start doing like a sizzling start. Um, so remember, like, trying to gain that interest straight away. I think if a story started with this kind of music, um, it would it would definitely be getting some interest straight away. You would kind of think, oh, what's going to what's gonna happen next? What's, what's creepy that's coming? Um, okay, so we're going to listen to it again. Here we go. Okay, so now that you've listened to it twice, you should have some notes or a little picture, depending on what year you're in. Um, I drew for this one, it sounded like something to me was like coming out of a cauldron or something was like, uh, like a spider was coming down. That might be because I know what it was from. Um, but I tried to be non-biased and I drew like a little ghost type thing. Come on, I don't know if you can see it. A ghost coming out of a cauldron um, with the arms kind of protruding. Um, so, yeah, it sort of sounds like something's about to happen. at the be If that started at the beginning of the story, it might be, you know, that a ghost has broken loose in a, a haunted house. Um, 
I did a little example of a sizzling start that might have gone with that. So you can start with um, like a sound on a manapia. So I sort of had ah, an anguished haunting cry came from the stinking gurgling pot of death. Okay, um, that was mine. Another one you could do is rhetorical questions. So you might have it like, what was that? That could be your first line of the story. Okay. Um, I'm going to do one more um, and I'm going to play it through only once and I'm going to leave that for teachers to decide what they want to do with it um, and I'll leave it for you to imagine. I'll, t I'll say what it is at the end. Um, you can draw a picture, you can write with it um, or you can just have a think about how it makes you feel. Oh, I did it again. So that last piece, uh, like I said, I knew what it was from. It was from Harry Potter. Uh, I think of the Chamber of Secrets and the spiders are all coming down. So it's by J.K. Rowling. They're all sort of gaining on Ron and, and Harry. It's real creepy. Okay, so this last one we're going to have a listen to. Okay, I love that one because it goes through all the different um, like mood, different types of moods, um, and it feel it starts quite slow with the da 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 quite mystical, and then it builds and builds and builds, um, and it gets to that kind of that that drumming sound. So it's, for me, it sounds like it's a chase. Um, but for you, um, it might feel like something different. So I'm just going to leave that piece there. Um, I'll put in the credits what it's from because I don't want to spoil it um, for whoever is um, trying to imagine it. So play it through a few times and you can write a story from that. Um, and the, the way that it changes should actually um, help to guide that story. Um, so, for example, I imagine like a, a, a chase happening so with the drums it feels and it, it feels like for me it feels a bit jungly um just because of the type of drums that are being played so anyway i really hope you enjoyed um this video um i'm gonna keep uploading more so subscribe if you want to see more videos and happy days have a good one bye